is Jess, welcome back to my channel. So today's hair tutorial is going to be sponsored by Better Length Hair, and it is hair extensions for black women or for women with natural kinky coily hair. So the hair piece that I have today is the Afro Kinky Curly Hair. It's made for textures that are mostly 3C, 4A. So this is the texture of the hair, and it also has a drawstring because it is a drawstring pony, and it has two clips. Ooh, why are my hands looking ashy? I'm sorry, y'all, I don't know what that is. Um, has two clips, one on the top and one on the bottom for maximum security. Now, as you guys know, my hair is red now, so I'm gonna have to do some altering to this hair. So let's get into the hair coloring process now. <laughs> So to achieve the red that I want, first I have to bleach the hair. So I'm using 40 volume developer and BW2 powder that I got from Sally's. I'm starting off with two and a half scoops and then just adding the cream as I see necessary until I get to the desired texture that I want. But later on I did add a few more scoops of powder and more cream after I ran out to do the full ponytail. I used maybe five or six scoops. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and do it until you reach this type of texture. And now we're gonna go on to applying the hair. So it's not track, so I couldn't just do it track by track. So I did have to split the ponytail into a few sections in order to get it um, the hair to distribute or the powder what is this the bleach to distribute evenly so at first I was using um, the brush that it came with and then I started to use my hands to distribute it a lot even more evenly and it was just a lot easier to get it all nice and through as you can see on the bottom like a few of them are turning light brown already this hair uh, it bleaches very quickly and I don't know why for some reason it got real hot like when I put it in the foil paper it was like steaming not sure why not sure what them chemicals was doing but anyhow this is what it is looking like like I said the hair bleaches real fast so you just have to be careful to make sure you don't over bleach which I did in a few spots but anyways these are the colors that I'll be using I have vivid red which is the actual color in my hair and it's by cream of nature and then I have berry burgundy which is by dark and lovely because they didn't have the other cream of nature color at Sally's so I had to improvise so I'm starting off with the vivid red just putting the contents of the package into this bowl and mixing it up now as you can see the color is more of like a brown copper color but as it sits it gets a lot darker red so I'm gonna do that for the berry burgundy also so I made a rookie mistake and forgot to put on my gloves so the color does stain your hands for a little bit but it comes off after a few washes so don't forget to wear your gloves ladies so this is what the colors are looking like now after they set they get a lot more pigmented and a lot darker so these are the two colors that I will be using and this is what the hair looks like after it was bleached for 20 minutes now I know a lot of you guys are gonna ask if it altered the curl pattern as you can see with your eyes it does alter the curl pattern a little bit they're a little bit looser um, so just be mindful of that so the color that I'm using on the top is the berry burgundy by dark and lovely and then I'm gonna darken it up on the end with the vivid red So I'm also going to use my detangling brush to kind of give the hair a nice gradient instead of just being a big chop from like a berry burgundy into the vivid red. So I'm using it to kind of mix the colors in nicely and just make it have a nice smooth transition. So I'm going to continue to do that throughout the rest of the hair. Again I'm using the berry burgundy at the roots and then the vivid red at the end and then just using my detangling brush to just go ahead and give it a nice gradient and a smooth even transition. All right, so now that the ponytail is all colored, I'm just gonna go ahead and brush one more time to make sure I get all of the blonde bleached areas and make sure it's fully red and spicy for your girl. So this is what it's looking like now. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and cover it with some foil paper for 20 minutes and let make sure the color sets in very nicely. So while the color is setting in, then we're gonna move on to my natural hair. So I've done plenty of videos on how I do my sleek puff or my sleek low bun. So I'm really just gonna run through this really, really, really quickly. 
I, I am using my DIY flaxseed gel and it did get a little messy because the gel is very slippery but uh, I'm just gonna go through that and go through section by section I again I do have a video on how I do my low sleek puffs but you can kind of see here how I'm doing it so just gonna do that really quick and then we'll move on So I know a few people are probably gonna be thinking like, okay Jess, you have long hair, so why are you wearing weave? A long, weave was not made for people with only short hair and this is also a protective style which is great to help you achieve length in the first place. So um, just make sure you're protecting your hair and protecting your ends and this ponytail is actually a really great way to keep your ends tucked in and protected. So I'm using Gorilla Snot just to make sure my hair stays nice and sleek and slick down. So now I'm gonna go ahead and roll my hair up and tuck my ends in with um, a few hair ties. All right, so I went ahead and washed out the hair dye out of the ponytail and this is what it is looking like. Looking very beautiful and just the color came out exactly what I wanted it to come out like. So I'm just gonna untie the drawstring and I'm gonna use the clip on the top and on the bottom to secure it over my bun back there. So, and it fits really well. Uh, it had even more space, so if your bun is bigger than mine, you have plenty of space to fit it in there. So I'm using the drawstring to just tighten it up for a maximum security. And I'm gonna wrap the drawstring um, like the excess drawstring around my head and then just tie it, I mean just pin it to my head with some hairpins. And then I'm gonna pin the sides down as well for it's like super, super, super security, you know what I'm saying? You can never be too secure. So now I'm just going to use a piece of the hair to wrap it around the top so that it doesn't look, you know, like, like a weird transition from my hair to the bun or to the ponytail, you know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much it, you guys. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. All the links to the hair dyes and to the ponytail will be in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.